Hello viewers, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to look at uh, the story of a person, the detailed story of a uh, Nigeria well-known cannibal. Is 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 referred to as Nigeria's first known cannibal. Although many Nigerians would have forgotten him, but many Lagosians won't. Yeah, his name is Clifford Oji. He's Nigeria's first known cannibal. The news of his relief bringing death filtered in on the 17th of August 2012. He died in unknown causes at the Krikiri Maximum Prison, Lagos. Uh, you see, Leg um, Clifford Oji was arrested on February 3, 1999, and charged before an Ibutemeta magistrate court in Lagos on February 19 of the same year. As early as 6 a.m. in the morning, crowds still gathered at Toyota bus stop Osho the Solo Expressway. Clifford's former kitchen, yeah, that was his former kitchen. The cries of Awawu, an emaciated and shackled woman from Agege, gave him away. Hmm. According to his confession to the police, Clifford and his accomplice, Tairo, have been killing fellow human beings for dinner, breakfast, and lunch. Just imagine that. People in the neighborhood always suspected that Clifford Oji was strangely different. You know, he dressed like a, a madman, which he wasn't. Yeah, he just he just uh, gained flair in eating human flesh. He used to sell razor blades at the bustling Oshodi market before he shifted his abode to a self-created grotto under the you know highway bridge in Isolo where he advertised himself as a native doctor and that was how he actually lured most of his victims uh you know promising them he's he, he has charms to make them great you understand so occasionally he violently pursued stray walkers to his sanctuary during the time so in the dead of the night he usually blanketed the air around with the meat like odor from his special barbecue of humans that he killed Imagine that. People merely suspected that this barbecue loving um, recluse was not normal, that it was possibly mad. But no one was prepared for the horrendous discovery of that haunting Wednesday morning. Hmm. Cliffordology was a cannibal, a man eater. He eats fellow human like him. The discovery, you know, sent shock waves throughout the sprawling metropolis of about seven million people, drawing hundreds of people to the under bridge abode of Oji. That was where he stays. That was where he performs his acts. Yeah, where he was also kept, you know, a well kitted kitchen to prepare cooked and roasted human flesh. Well, how long the Afro head man from Enugu State has been feeding on human flesh in like in Lagos before his eventual arrest is still unknown till this day because so many people didn't suspect he has been doing that all this while. Wow, and also is the actual number of people he has slaughtered for dinner. <laughs> Oji did not even reveal much during police interrogations, but we are very very sure he would have killed a lot just a lot of people yes a shrill cry of a famished and emaciated lady you know waiting and waiting to be slaughtered was what gave oji way that wednesday that was what that, that was how he was caught because the woman was crying she was she was she was in agony so that was what gave him away that wednesday the noise attracted passers-by who not only discovered the woman but also stumbled on a collection of human parts in Oji's makeshift home. Human bones, skulls, legs, and freshly cooked soup with human meat we also discovered. The uproar triggered by this shock discovery was said to have attracted many men of the Operation Sweep. Yeah, so surrounded, Oji attempted to escape but he couldn't. The police quickly arrested him and took him to the Makinde police station in Oshodi nearby. The lady being dressed for slaughtering and who Oji had turned into a sex slave for several days was freed and taken to the hospital in Ikeja. The arrest of another person said to be Oji's accomplice in the human flesh eating business 
introduced a new dimension to the to the tragedy just imagine that so the police found that Oji and his friend were not just human eaters they were also human spare parts sellers yes a lot of politicians come to them to pay a, 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 as money checks you know we are discovered we have as, as as the arrest was going on money checks were said to have been recovered at the makeshift home at the popular toyota bus stop on the oshodi isolo expressway so which this this implies that so many politicians have been coming to his abode to purchase uh, to, to, to purchase the human parts that he has killed you know so many ritualists like that so and the question is were OG and his accomplice mad? Were they really mad? Well, some people interviewed at the scene of the tragedy believed they were sane. Yes, they were sane, but they claimed they were insane. But actually, so many people believed that they were sane, but some did not. Some did not believe they were sane. On the following Thursday, OG and his accomplice were paraded to newsmen by the Lagos State Police Commissioner, Sunday Agbedo. So, the journalists were crowded. The, uh, the, the the journalists just crowded the premises of the SARS Special Anti Robbery Squad of the Lagos State Police Command Ikeja, covered their noses with handkerchiefs while having OG who claimed to be a native of Enugu State, but comes to Lagos State to uh, commit atrocities. Oh wow! The state's commissioner of police described the two men as human eaters. They are cannibals. Yes, on display beside them were roasted parts of human bones, um, being heads, leg, and and the abdomen. On one, there there is one severed head that wore a uh, 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 of a lady identified as Inom, a trader from. Aqua Ivum states. So uh, they have they have been known to have committed a lot of atrocities. So they were arrested with human parts in their enclave at the local airport area and taken to the Mackenday police station. They are now answering questions on homicide at the SCID, the State Crime Intelligence Department. When it was his turn to speak, Oji confessed to the media men. We are human meat eaters. We have killed over three people, usually young girls, who are queers. Hmm. This is so sad. We always lure them to our enclave under the pretext that we wanted to purchase their ways. Once they are in our nets, we pounced on them and killed them for eatable meat. My colleagues is, is the human hunter, why I am the butcher. <laughs> just imagine we usually go for girls with panned air so these are the statements of og why have you taken to the um to human eating is it because you cannot afford animal meat the journalist asked og then og replied to them we have been eating human meat for the past seven years for the past seven years before coming to Lagos. So which means even in the state where they were before, they've been eating humans. Well, it is the culture of some places to eat humans, but they brought this to Lagos to just kill people and eat just like that. He said it is their culture to eat human meat. <laughs> if you are a free man today, will you still be eating human meat? Then OG <laughs> proclaimed, like it was, we were shocked at what he said. He, he, he answered again. He said, yes, to me, there is no difference between human and goat meat. Just look at that reply. So he said the lack of remorse, so the lack of remorse by the cannibals is making the police doubt the mental state of the men. So they even felt no remorse that they killed fellow human and eat them. So they said they may be victims of psychic and um, spiritual problems before prosecution so we have to send them to psychiatric or um, home for medical examination so who knows they may be mentally sick so um, it is mr gedo that said this so he said cannibalism is a taboo in lagos and that is true but in some parts of nigeria especially in the southern states uh, south eastern states of cross river and calabar Human made eating is not strange at all. There were reports of food vendors selling human meat as animal meat to unsuspecting hungry travelers. 
So inside the cannibal's kitchen, they saw a different kind of things like roasty fry pan, buckets, bowl containing human bodies, um, human bones, grill on another metal bowl, firewood, human parts, roasted limbs, money ex estimated up to 500,000 euros. So which means um, there are there, there are politicians, there are famous people in this Lagos that also come to patronize them that also come to buy human parts from them wow this is serious this is serious so our utmost prayer is just that god's protection should continue to be with us it is not safe out there but um our prayer is god should not cease to protect us all right thank you for watching we love you so please don't forget to subscribe and um click on the notification button